Hi, it's Mass Bricks, and today I have the inline 2 or red valve with the generator slash alternator. Now, this thing is actually pretty realistic. Um, the first being is that this belt tensioner can actually loosen and tighten the belt. So, if you take the belt off and take the tensioner off, you can actually swivel this thing back and forth. So, um, it depends how many holes you have for adjustment, of course. So if you want really tight, then you put it right close. Or if you want really loose, you pull it right close. If you want it tight, then you pull it way out here. Um, but of course, you have to have the tensioner going way up there. But um, for the sake of this video, I only have two points of tightening. So, um, yeah. And I'm at the loosest point right now because I don't have enough chain. I don't have much chain of this, so... That's what I'm going to be using. That's the tightness I'm going to be using. So, um, that's the first thing. The second thing that's realistic about this is that it's driven off of a belt. Or in my case, I use a chain. Um, you could use a belt, but it's really inefficient, of course. And it most likely won't turn it over, but I'm sure there's a way. But for right now, I'm using a chain. Um, the third thing that's realistic about this is that it's kind of cylindrical. As you can see back here, it's kind of a circle almost with like the flat parts on it. But um, that's kind of a small detail, I guess. It's better than a box, of course. But um, the th I guess another one is that uh, it's at an angle. So um, it does look pretty realistic at the side. Um, so it's not just directly driven off the motor. Now, practicality goes. Um, it's not really practical. I mean, you don't really need a chain driven off of it. You just use a crank. Uh, it's directly driven off the crank. But, of course, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to lie. It's If you had like an inline 4, inline 6, like a big long motor or something like that, and then um, have this on there, it would look pretty sick. Not going to lie. Um, another thing that I realized like two days after I built this thing was that you can use this as a starter and generator. So you can start up by pushing this button, and it'll start it up, and then of course it'll run after you shut it off, and then it'll charge, well, it would produce electricity. Of course it wouldn't charge a battery because, of course, electronics wouldn't uh, computer work. You have to have to change some stuff. Um, but and uh, when I run this thing, I will have this IR receiver here, and, um, there's an LED in here, and it can actually power the LED. So it does produce electricity. I'll show you that. Um, and I also will show you it starting up with the battery, which is why I reattached the battery. Um, so that's basically all the realistic concepts that I have on this thing. Um, I did have to make this, I did have to modify this in order to have more torque. Um, I had to have more valve travel so that it would open up more air. Um, so that the have more volume of vacuum to suck up the piston. Of course, it didn't go faster because the spring tension or the spring rubber band um, cuts down on the power or the RPM that you gain. So you get more torque by sucking the piston stronger, but you'd um, still have the same RPM because you would be pushing down more, more down on the rubber band, which would be slowing it down. So. I only need torque and it works and it's actually pretty surprising because when we turn it on and I turn it off it's a virtually the same RPM I mean I'm pretty surprised and I'll show you uh, quickly here um, just a second but um after I'm finished but this thing is pretty simple to build um, you just have a box with a of course M motor and um, chain and just driven off of you know, it's a bit of a pivot. You got drain off of a chain, of course. You got your um, thing sticking out with tension or something down there. So, super simple. Um, but, of course, by all means, give me credit if you ever do make this thing. But, uh, yeah. Well, enough yapping. Let's get moving. <laughs> Oh. 
right now it's running on its own power. So as you saw, whenever I turn it on and turn it off, it was virtually the same RPM. Uh, but then it did decline because I was kind of messing around with some stuff. Wasn't really liking, because if you move this like one centimeter each way or just like breathe on it wrong, then it'll go like, this. us say screw you and it'll just slow down like 50 RPM, it's crazy. But anyway, um, I'll attach it to the IR receiver, and for the sake of it, I'll put it up here so you can see it better. It's gonna look really goofy, but you can see if you spin over fast enough, you can see the LED start to turn on. So it does produce electricity. So let's run it. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much all it is to it. You just have a generator in there and it produces electricity. But of course, you do have enough torque in order to turn this thing. I barely had enough torque, as you saw, to even run it. Um, if I squeak by with it, it runs pretty nice, um, pretty smooth. I'm happy with it. So um, now. I came up with this idea right before I was going to destroy this thing because the fate of this engine, I'm going to smash it with a baseball bat. It's inevitable because after all the torture this thing uh, went through, or at least gave me all this torture trying to maintain this thing, this thing not being destroyed a million bits, which happened to me 300 times, um, I'm going to smash it with a baseball bat in like two videos from now. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan on putting this in a tractor. I'm going to make a Lego tractor or just a chassis, whatever I plan to do. Of course, it won't be color-coded or steering or anything look like a probably, probably nothing look like a tractor. But um, it's going to have a drivetrain, and I'm probably going to pull some stuff with it. But anyways, that's what my plans are for this thing. I'm going to put a tractor, put it in a tractor, and then um, smash it with a baseball bat. So if you guys want to look forward to that, um, then please subscribe because you don't definitely want to miss out the destruction of this thing. I mean, who wouldn't? So um, yeah, that's my video. So see ya.